bits and pieces of an old plaster wall. As I'm peeling off layers and layers of this stuff. Are piled up in Maria Leimuller's front yard. He had to remove all the wooden slats and the and then the insulation came out. It's what her fiance, Bill Schmidt. And I think somebody was just putting it there on purpose. Had the breakthrough. Because the acid from your fingers ruins the paper. In order to find these pages from the past, it happened almost a week ago as the couple remodels their Wilmot home. The first one I took pictures of and sent it to was my boss. And she's like, so cool. Hanging inside the living room wall is a copy of the Kenosha Telegraph printed 132 years ago. There's Day, November 5th, 1874. Leimuller has been captivated by the articles and advertisements from a time when the country was still less than a century old. And then I saw a White House story. It was President Grant, the 18th president. Or the morbid yet mundane account Lapine is to be hanged of an impending hanging in Winnipeg. Anticipated at Fort Geary that the punishment will be commuted by Earl Dufferin. Leimuller says she can't help but wonder if the Chronicle is worth something. And I've read it like 14 times. And with any good story, those are in the garage. There's always more to tell. 1875. The rest is spread out on her garage floor. These are the others. Maybe four partial newspapers from early 1875. Leimuller hopes someone will be able to help her authenticate the broadsheets, but feels it would only be a formality. So it's the real thing, the real deal. In Wilmot, Jonathan Gregg, Fox 6 News.